Hi, today I'm reviewing the Ordinary Aloe and NAG solution. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, join the Patreon community, click on the links, or share or subscribe. Interesting how they call this a solution and not really a serum because the texture of it isn't really a serum, but it's not really like a toner which is interesting. But anyway, this is one of The Ordinary's new products. I really am waiting though for them to re-release or do something with their magnesium ascorbyl phosphate because they had that moisturizer version of it, which is really nice and has some really, really nice dupes for it uh, that are really expensive, but they haven't done anything with it. It's been out of stock for forever. So I keep waiting for it, but I'm wondering if they're done with all their releases. So I don't know. Anyway, just a random thought. So anyway, okay. So I've got this one. So they say the Ordinary Aloe 2% and NEG 2% uh, solution is a lightweight serum that reduces the appearance of post-acne marks, targets the look and feel of both uneven skin texture and tone, while also helping to really reduce the appearance of pores and strengthen the skin barrier. So I have a lot of thoughts on this one. I have some several um, alternatives to this, in my opinion which are really great and some of them are even in the long run probably more affordable than this one so stay tuned for that okay first criteria packaging standard dropper bottle not too exciting no issues with it just their standard dropper bottle uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol it does not contain any of those it's also fragrance free and has no real noticeable scent to it the manufacturing location usually i write it down but i forgot to but let me look made in Canada so no issues with that I think they make most of their stuff in Canada nowadays although they're based in Canada so it makes sense okay so ease of use so it's kind of a little bit messy because it, it's not like a serum texture but it's not super much of a liquid but a, a little bit of it goes a very long way so like a dropper like one drop of it maybe two drops is probably enough to cover your entire face um, so Anyway, so you can apply it. They recommend applying it morning and evening, of course. I recommend doing a patch test with it just because of that acetylglucosamine. Most people won't have issues with it, but even in small amounts, it can be very strong. So uh, anyway, so, okay. So watery serum texture a little goes a long way. It takes a little time to absorb. If you use too much of it, it will take forever to absorb. So if you use a drop too many, just continue it down your face and neck. Um, otherwise it will take a while to fully sink in uh, so that's why I prefer using this in my evening routine because it does take so long to sink in you can certainly use it morning or evening there's really no uh, contradictions in the ingredients to anything so that's nice so anyway it, it it plays well with most products if you apply the right amount if you apply too much it's gonna take forever to soak in then it's gonna cause some pilling issues with perhaps other products so just be sure to apply it just a very small amount because a little bit of it goes so long um, okay so in terms uh well i'll talk about the ingredients in a second uh, in terms of animal testing this is vegan and cruelty free so no issues with that okay so for performance so i test everything for at least 30 days at least once a day depending on the directions with the exception of sunscreens i usually test those at least two weeks so if we're using this for just over a month, uh, I didn't really notice any crazy results, really any benefits, any no, any difference in dark spots or hyperpigmentation. However, uh, I'll, some of these ingredients, just looking at them, um, the studies on them were done based on eight weeks. So that's probably not, not really a great judge of it, just testing it. And a lot of ingredients you need to use three, four, five, six, seven, eight months. Things like azelaic acid, they take three, four months to use. Hydroquinone, very controversial uh, ingredient for melasma, that can take two, three months. Uh, retinoids, again, three, four months. Exfoliants, not so long. Vitamin C, not as long. But anyway, so it might not be the best judge. I'll keep using this and report back. But um, I guess it depends on what you're buying this for. If you're buying this as a soothing product because of the aloe, then, then the, the eight weeks isn't a big deal. But if you're buying this for hyperpigmentation and dark spots, then uh, that's a totally different 
reason to purchase it. And Ike's messing with the rug and just slammed the door shut. So, um, anyway, if you're looking for something soothing, anti-aging, I'd recommend the Isentree Aloe Soothing Gel, hands down, because it's got a must, much more robust ingredient list, an impressive ingredient list. For super dark spots, stubborn hyperpigmentation, melasma, I think even after using this eight weeks, two months, three months, um, for very stubborn stuff, I think you're probably going to have to get something with the several more lightening ingredients. So this might be a good starter serum for hyperpigmentation, but for people with stubborn hyperpigmentation, um, I don't necessarily think the aloe and the acetylglucosamine are going to be enough. Um, there's stronger products. Regimen Lab Level Serum. Checking out as lake acid is going to be very helpful. The topical's faded. Um, anyway, so that's kind of my soapbox on this one. Uh, the other nice thing for acne-prone skin, there's no ingredients of known. Hi, Ike. Ike's messing with the rug and is not happy with the results. Okay, so the ingredients I'll talk about really quickly. So we've got aloe powder, which is a uh, freeze-dried version of aloe leaf juice. Um, so it's still skin-soothing and emollient. Um, so the thought is if they dry it out, it, it removes the unuseful components of aloe and just just leaves the strong uh, soothing components behind. But it still has the same similar soothing and emollient and hydrating properties as aloe. Then we've got that acetoglucosamine, which I was talking about, or the NAG. Uh, so it's a skin identical ingredient. It's a natural moisturizing factor and also may help with wrinkles. And studies show even just a small small amount, like 2%, which is ironically the amount in here, uh, may help with fine lines and wrinkles. And another show, study showed the same amount can help fade brown spots, but with eight weeks of daily use. So keep that in mind. Then we've got the matrixyl peptide, which is a cell communicating ingredient, can help reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and improve skin texture. And then we've got hydroxymethyloxyphenyl. Uh, decanone, which is a four-in-one ingredient that acts as a potent uh, topical and cellular antioxidant, anti-irritant, and hyaluronic acid booster. Uh, however, the manufacturer of this ingredient only did tests um, in test tubes and not in actual specimens or actual people. And then finally, we've got lactic acid, which used in small amounts has a hydrating benefit for skin. So um, pretty decent ingredient list for the ordinary. I mean, we've got Four main stars of the show here, which is nice. Five, um, which is more than they, they usually kind of have the single star of the show. So I kind of like having some multiple ingredients in here, which may be exciting. Um, anyway. Okay, in terms of the price, so this is a full size 30 milliliters, one ounce retails for about $14.50. So it's a little more than most of their products, but it's still pretty affordable, especially the fact that uh, two drops is enough to cover my entire face and neck. <laughs> it adds, it saves itself, so... Okay, last but not least, the It Factor. So it's an affordable product to try for less stubborn or new areas of hyperpigmentation, but again, for very stubborn dark spots, hyperpigmentation, melasma. Um, it's going with something else is probably going to be your better bet. But if it's something new, uh, it's easier to treat and get rid of, but be, be sure to use sunscreen to stop anything else from getting worse. Um Okay, or something with pigment-fighting ingredients, things like that, like the level serum, is like acids, great, things like that. Uh, there's a few dupes for this product worth mentioning, uh, and most of these are, some of these are a lot more expensive, but my favorite is the Isentree Aloe Soothing Gel, but it's not really a dupe because it's, it's different formula, it's a gel, but the ingredient and the purpose are kind of similar, so. Okay, so the other dupes, Dr. Brandt Needles No More, the Acure Intergalactic Shimmer Serum, the Philosophy When Hope Is Not Enough Facial Firming Serum, and the Mario Badescu Peptide Serum, but don't buy the Mario Badescu Peptide Serum because they've randomly put steroids in some of their products. So anyway, but it's still got some similar ingredients. Hopefully no steroids, so... Anyway, with a 10 being a perfect score, I have this one an 8. I think it's worth trying for new uh, post-acne marks and things like that, but for some dark, stubborn pigmentation, going with something else probably going to be more, more beneficial and more impressive and will give you happier results. So anyway, interesting hearing from you guys. Have you had a chance to check this one out yet or not? And if you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much.
Bye, guys.